California. Hi, I'm Dick Holloway, and I'll be doing the play-by-play -play for tonight's big game along with my broadcasting buddies, Jim McInerney, Bill Hopp. Your International Roller League action, your World Series semi-playoff action, the New York Bombers and the Los Angeles Thunderbirds with the Bombers out in front, 55 to 44, Jim, it's trouble. Well, I think one of the key points in the first half was the big scoring threat of the New York Bombers men, Georgie Fernandez, who picked up a total of 17 points. And for the ladies in the New York Bombers, it was Darlene Langlois de la Chapelle. She picked up 13 points for a combined total of 30 points between just the two of them, which is a lot of points. Now you add that to the teamwork and the blocking power of Gregory Quinn and Kenny Sanders, and I can see exactly why the Bombers are ahead by 11 points. And Hoppy, that's the way I see it, but I know that you don't always agree with me. Well, Jim, I don't want to take anything away from a very fine New York Bomber team performance here tonight, but I must say that I feel that definitely the Thunderbirds are psychologically unprepared for tonight's game. I feel it's a classic case of the overconfidence syndrome, if I can uh, uh, coin a phrase here. Now, the Bombers come into tonight's game having won eight straight. They're high. They're on the crest of a wave. The Thunderbirds have lost four out of the last eight games with an attitude, well, we've got it made. We're going to be in the World Series Finals. Not at all. If you will look at the score sheet for the first half, Ralphie Valderas has scored a single point. Now, he's averages 15 points a half, uh, where the... Uh, uh, Ralphie Valadares has fallen down. The Thunderbirds fall down, as they say, as Ralphie goes, the Thunderbird goes. In addition, Georgie Fernandez has scored 17 points past big Danny Riley, the best defense man in the league. Now, I don't know whether Danny's knee is acted up or what, but the point is the Thunderbirds are going to have to correct some mistakes or there will be no World Series next week for the Thunderbirds. What do you think about that, Dick? Well, Hoppy, you're right. They did have a very miserable first half of action. Jim, how about giving the starting line and see if there is any changes? Okay, for the New York Bomber men, number 41 is Gregory Quinn. Number 42 is Kenny Saunders. The scoring threat, threat is Georgie Fernandez, number 43. 44 is James Scott. Number 46 is Keith Hildreth. Russell Carter is number 47. And for the ladies on the Bombers team, 41 is Brenda DeShields. Number 42 is... Retta Cohn, number 43, is Stephanie Garcia. Lori Gregory is number 45. Number 46 is Evelyn Arzola. And number 47, the pretty gal, Darlene Langlois de la Chapelle. And number 48, Diane Severson. Now the world-famous world champion Los Angeles T-Birds. Number one is Dave Martinez. Number two is Sam the Man Washington. Number three is Ray Robles. Number four, Frankie Macedo. Number five, Ronnie Psycho Reigns. Number six, the blocking threat, Danny Riley. Number seven is Tony Trujillo. And number eight, Rafi Valadares. And for the ladies, number one, Debbie Hilton. Number two, Donna Young. Number three is Patsy Delgado. Number four is the pretty Debbie Garvey. Also the very pretty, number five, Colleen Morell. Number six is skinny Minnie Gwyn Miller. Number seven, Renee Lamestra. And number eight is Julie Hellowell. Well, guys, this Thunderbird team, they came in the reigning world champions. Are they going to leave the world champions coming up? Can they win the semifinals? We're going to find out. They're a come-from-behind team. They look good. they got the fans going for them. we got a second half of action coming up. You folks hang on. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Bob Nystrom, a four-time Stanley Cup winner with the New York Islanders, and you're watching Classic Sports Network. Do you know you might be spending double what you need to for your life insurance? Have a pencil ready. In a moment, I'll give you a toll-free number you can call to find out. American Republic Insurance Company has a breakthrough buying system for purchasing low-cost, high-quality term life insurance. By using an 800 number, you now buy direct from the company. These are policies that can also save you hundreds of dollars a year. Want proof? $30 a month, just a dollar a day, buys $369,000 of coverage for a man age 35. Also, for a dollar a day, a woman age 35 can buy $430,000 of coverage. And these rates are guaranteed level for 10 years. Get your free no-obligation custom quote and full information. Call the company direct at 1-800-890-0096. American Republic, the direct to you way to buy the most term life insurance at a truly low cost. Stop overspending. Call this toll-free number today. 1-800-890-0096. You're watching.
watching Classic Sports Network. Well, for the second half of action, the Los Angeles Keepers and the New York Bombers, the ladies are on the track, and for the play-by-play, -play, here's Dick Holloway. And the score, 55 to 44, the Bombers out in front of the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. It's a World Series semifinal playoff action game in San Diego, and what's happening now? Coley Morrell in front of the pack, up the gal, breaking out of the back of the pack, is Skinny Mini Windmiller. Woo, me, oh my. Oh yeah, all kinds of action here. And number six, Skinny Mini Miller, getting out of that pack, and on the move, she's the gal with the jammy, on the right off side of the 43. A good skater for this New York Bombers team, a real competitor, Stephanie Garcia, takes her shoulders, shot one time, and down the back up again. What a fine competitor this gal is. This Dick Holloway calling for you along with Bill Hopp and Jim McInerney, and right now, Garcia also knocked down hard by Debbie Held in the back of the pack. And wow, beautiful move to the inside by Skinny Miller. Gets to a high part of the track and spins around. Goes by Laura Gregory to get up three Thunderbird points. And hopefully they're going to close a little bit of this gap here with a score 55 to 47. Well, and uh, Dick and Jim, that's the thing I spoke about. The Thunderbirds have got to attack. They've got to go out and score if they're going to win this game and Miller is the type of a skater who can do it for him. Wasn't that beautiful, that fancy work? She sure adds a spark to this Los Angeles T-Bird team. You're talking about Skinny Gwen Miller and what a popular, popular gal she is. Gets cards, letters, fan mail from everywhere. Beautiful crowd. Judy Norton Taylor, the one you saw a quick glimpse over there enjoying herself in the crowd. Number two, Donna Young. Donna Young right alongside behind her now is Darlene Lenoir de la Chapelle. A fine rookie skater improving with every game. Oh, a vicious block again by number 48, the big gal. Another tall blonde in there, Diane Severson. Severson blocking hard on Donnie Young and up in front, Debbie Heldon, number one for the Thunderbirts, blocking the colors, the white, the gold, and the green on Darlene Lenoir. But Darlene working her way through that pack, and this gal has been schooled well. Improving, she puts her hands on her hips, calls off the jam, picking up four bomber points, got them four big points in. Out in front, 59 to 47 in New York Bombers. Well, this gal right here, Darlene Lingua de la Chapelle, with E.G. Miller there, she has picked up a total of 17 points now. That's quite a few points, and this gal is really moving. E.G. Miller, he is the vice president, general manager of the New York Bombers. I believe, uh, Hoppy, that's her high points for the year. 17 big points thus far. Yeah, and for a fashion model, uh, she certainly does a great job. Well, she's got a lot of points, that's for sure. All right, what's going to happen now is the Thunderbirds still on that track with the mighty New York Bombers and the Bombers rise in the occasion tonight as you see Thunderbird men and gals on the bench watching the score 59 for the New York Bombers and 47 for the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. Working their way from the back of that pack, pretty Patsy Delgado. Delgado also way out in front, Laura Gregory, the rookie skater, another pretty, pretty blonde skater for the New York Bomber team, number 45, Laura Gregory. A little still gal, young gal, but coming a long ways here on the bank track and going this Patsy Delgado, number three, hailing from Pico Rivera, the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. That's her, the white, the gold, and the green. Beautiful move to the inside of Laura Gregory, but a fine defensive move in there by Debbie Heldon. We're looking for the Shields, blocking the lights of Patsy Delgado out of there. Here comes the Shields, blocks on Debbie Heldon. Laura Gregory, she's going to get her way all through that pack with this gal blocking up in front of her. Skinny Minnie taking out of there after trying to get her in there. And this gal put the stop to her in a hurry. Oh, reversal hit to her side of the head. Almost got her down, but comes back, picks her up in the lower part of the skate. A one Thunderbird point by Patsy Delgado. Four big points by Laura Gregory. Now with a score of 63 to 48, the Thunderbirds have a way to come. We've got some trouble out here with Diane Severson and Skinny Minnie Miller ready to get into it. Don Laster, the referee, stepping in to break it up. E.G. Miller is taking Diane Severson away. He's talking to her. He's in the black sweater. E.G. Miller, keep your eyes on that man. These guys will. He is the executive vice president for the New York Bombers. Here's the score, T-Birds 48, the Bombers 63. The T-Birds sure better get something going because they're down by 15 points. Yes, that bomber uh, blocking is certainly paving the way for this. Well, that was for sure, but remember, this is a game the Thunderbirds have to win. They want to go to the World Championship. They have to defeat this tough New York Bomber aggregation here this evening. And can they do it? Time's running out in this skating period with three more big periods to follow. Can they do it? The Thunderbirds now, who do they have getting out of there? No one. And it's a long gal, number 43, for the New York Bombers, Stephanie Garcia. Garcia completely out 
by herself with a score 63 to 48. The New York Bombers out in front, a 15 point lead, and that's a big lead. She hits it straight away. This track made of masonite, approximately 80 yards in circumference. A rail of steel with padding on top. That's the wood padding here tonight, and it is rough out there. And look at this gal blocking hard. Debbie held it. Someone going to help her. Debbie can do it all by herself. There's the referee, Terry Toledo, with a whistle in her mouth, ready to blow a whistle on any infraction she sees out there. A good vicious block to the backside of Diane Peterson. Back to Garcia. Jim Hoppy, this has been plenty of rough action here. And look at this gal cooking back and forth. One to one side of the Debbie Hill. And Julie, I've got Diane Peterson. Peterson for no score. Gold Hill by 63 to 48. The Thunderbirds down by 15 points, but no score this time. Fine blocking job by uh, Debbie Heldon, but this Diane Severson, uh, she was uh -oh. the rookie of the year when she was 17, and 10 years later, she is really a dynamite uh, defensive skater. Well, that dynamite skater just got thrown into the penalty box for one minute. Number 48, Diane Severson, going to sit this one out in the send bin. Diane Severson holds plenty of records in her own rights here at the International Roller League. She's been skating for quite a number of years. I believe she still holds the record for most consecutive games skated at one time for the New York Bomber team. You see the score, 63 to 48. The New York Bombers out in front. As the time wanes away, the Thunderbirds are having trouble. They have never been out in front of this game. Now, Colleen Morrell, number five, the little gal from Melbourne, Australia, on the move for the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. The cries, go, go, go. She says, come on, gal. Behind her, number 45, the likes of Lori Gregory. Lori Gregory, trying to catch up a new size. They have eyes on you. She's got her eyes on her. Thunderbird certainly needed a shot in the arm right there. I hope that signifies the start of a John Hall led drive for this team. These fans bring up beautiful signs. T Birds bomb the bombers. Will they bomb the bombers? They're down by 13. The only bombing's going on the Thunderbirds right now. Somebody has to light a lamp underneath them and get that fire going. That's for sure. Who's going to come out of the pack this time as the Thunderbirds have to get their way out of the back of the pack, as do the New York Bombers. The Jammers break it out of the pack. Donnie Young for the Thunderbirds wearing the helmets along with Stephanie. Donnie Young, number two, number 43 in the blue and the gold. That's the colors of the New York Bomber team, a fine team here tonight. They're well-tuned, fine machine on the move with E.T. Miller. They're hit man, cheering them on. But right now it's Donnie Young. Young breaking out the front of the pack with Stephanie Garcia. What a competitor. Up the likes of number 48, Diane Severson. Severson up in front, trying to block the gal. Blocked hard in Donnie Young. Cut her with a stiff shoulder block. Blocks by Debbie Heldon. Goes by the likes of number six in there, skinny mini Gwen Miller. And the gal, Diane Severson. Blocking hard is Stephanie Garcia picking up four big bomber points in there. And that big blonde gal, Jim, number 48, she reminds me of many of these good-looking gals out there. Oh, there's a lot of good-looking. Hey, speaking of a pretty blonde gal, Debbie Garvey. I had a chance to talk to Debbie Garvey before the game in a pre-recorded interview with her. We'll be showing to you later on. But pretty Debbie Garvey. What a pretty gal she is. Anytime get a chance to videotape that gal. You want to get there and talk to a good-looking gal. Well, once again, the Thunderbirts back in action going against the New York Bombers. 67 to 50 down by 17 points. I can't remember when the Thunderbirds have been behind this much. Now, can they get that rally going? They're a great country behind team. The rally, will it be ignited by this gal, Debbie Heldon? Debbie Heldon, or will it be ignited by number 41 alongside of her friend the Shields? The Shields are tough, rough competitor. The gal felt stuckily to that and moves well on the track. Always trains hard. But Debbie Heldon likewise. And she goes up high and once again the two bomber gals collide. They collide. And Debbie Heldon works her way through that track for four. Thunderbird points and finally on the move. Debbie Heldon. Four big points. The gal, a physical therapist from Penn State University. What a co-ed gal this gal is. Yeah, that's the kind of uh, blocking and the kind of scoring the Thunderbirds are going to have to have if they're going to pull this thing out of it. And Debbie Heldon is going to have to have broad shoulders tonight. Well, Penn State's been a winner for years, and so is the Thunderbirds. They've been winners for years in this World Series semifinal playoff action here tonight. Are the Thunderbirds going to carry that banner they so rightly deserve and have deserved in the past? 67 to 54 the score. 
13 points down. The fans love it. They're throwing up the big Thunderbird pictures. Look at John Hall on the middle trying to get him to go, go, go. John Hall is there really trying to get the Thunderbirds going. And it looks like he did something. Kitty Mini Gwen Miller coming up a one big point. And that gal can really move out there. 67 to 55. And Skinny Mini Miller can really do it. There's a clock winding down with this score. 67 for the New York Bombers and 55 for the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. Do it again. Well, on trackside here with me is the very, very pretty Debbie Garvey. And Debbie, tell me, how do you stay so pretty uh, skating in a rough, tough sport like this? Well, I have to tell you, Jim, I think I owe that to the diligence and the insistence of John Hall. You know, he makes sure that we know what we're doing out there. We know how to fall. We know how to take a rail and absorb the shock with our body. We know how to take a block and to get back up there and keep going. Well, tell me, what do you do when you are not skating out here on the track with these tough skaters? Well, I'm administrative assistant at Jim Instruments Corporation in Santa Monica. We sure are happy that they let you have a little bit of time off. They must appreciate your work. They're really very understanding, and when I need a little bit of extra time, they give it to me. Well, we thank you very much, and we thank them for letting you come on down. We'll be right back after this word. What's your favorite sports memory? Is it Reggie's three homers in game six? Or Michael's six three-pointers in game one? Or maybe it was the time you and your dad had the best seats in the house. We want to hear your favorite sports memory and maybe put it on the air. Classic Sports Network invites you to send us your favorite memory, whether it was a moment seen around the world or one that only you know about. Write it down on a postcard mail it in and if we tell your story you get star billing and a classic sports logo t-shirt send your favorite memory to favorite sports memories classic sports network murray hill station p.o box 1830 new york new york 10156 because if it meant something to you it means something to us Danny Riley 
is mad. I'll say it, this Danny Riley, look at the psycho, look at the psycho, he's fighting E.G. Miller. Psycho Ronnie Reigns, that's why you call him the psycho, and everybody knows why he's, he's psycho. He's crazy, but they love him. <laughs> E.G. Miller now yelling at the referee, Debbie Williams. <laughs> the fans here love Psycho Reigns. What a guy, but Danny Riley, if this guy is able to add anything, it's right there, the spark that can do it. Oh, look at this, Don Laster, the referee, not real happy with Danny Riley, and Riley not too happy with Laster. This Riley is some kind of character out there. He hails from Anaheim, California, attended Magnolia High School, a local favorite for years in the Los Angeles area. The man can skate, he can do it all, and he's been around a long time. In the meantime, we've got a jam coming up, and to get the pack formed, way back to the back of the pack, number four is Frankie Macedo. Darlene Lingua in the infield has a helmet there for one of the bomber skaters, but no one taking a helmet. Now, someone finally gets a helmet way back to the back of the pack. Number 47, they're picking up a helmet. Now, who's going to get out of there? It's going to be like some Frankie Macedo. Macedo, the little man up in front trying to get through, and look at Darlene. Constantly posing, constantly posing this gal. She's something else. Fans like her. Number four, Frankie Macedo. Macedo on the move. He gets a high part of the track. Working his way around. One skate after another. Forward on that track. Can the man pick up points for the Thunderbirds? Down 71 to 58. Down by 13 points in the scoring column. Back number 41 to stop him. Gregory Quinn tried to hit him on the lower part of the leg. Tried to knock him off balance. Back again. Blocks him high on the hard part of the shoulder. Macedo not going anywhere. Looking very lethargic. Very apathetic out there. Back up again. The man gray with age and time in there. He looks tired here tonight. Look at the man. He's going to get up again. Quinn says, no, I'm going to stop it. Boom, he stops him cold for no score. That's the situation when you have a veteran like Macedo uh, and a young uh, rookie like you have there on the Bombers who really is playing an aggressive game tonight. Little psycho. And Ray. <laughs> He's something else, Jim. Hobby I think this guy is something else. The people really love him. Well, as the psycho is going crazy out there on the track and the people are really loving him, I'll tell you. He can keep the whole thing going all night. He's crazy. But we'll be right back after these important words. I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Classic Sports Network, where the legends play. USN Costa Mesa, California. Doug Williams is back. Locks it into the end zone. He's got Didier. Touchdown! Hi. I'm Doug Williams, and you're watching Classic Sports Network. Well, here we are, back to the action with the play-by-play, -play, Dick Alway. Thank you, Jim. It's Ronnie Psycho Reigns along with Kenny Saunders. Saunders number 42, the blue and the gold, and Ronnie Psycho Reigns, the white, the gold, and the green. The world champion, Los Angeles Thunders, in quest of another title. Can they do it? This man gets knocked to the railing. It's Kenny Saunders out by himself with a score 71 to 58. The New York Palmers out in front by 13. The man making a good speedy run for it now. But the back of the pack, Ronnie Psycho Reigns. The psycho, he belts him hard one time. He goes down to the deck and back up again. Ronnie Psycho Reigns belts him. He lays down again. <laughs> Very versatile there. Three times national speed skating champion. He can do it all. Ronnie Psycho Reigns. He's back down again. Back up again. Ronnie Psycho Reigns. He belts him. Look at the man. He's at now. He's going, he's going wild in there. Ronnie Psycho Reigns. He's the dog. Is he cat? Is he skater? What is he? He takes off. Look at the people. They, oh, he's going riding. Oh, he held high. No score. And the Psycho stops him again with a score of 71 to 58. The New York Bombers out in front by 13. All right. We're going to take another look at this. And uh, let's say just a bit about Roddy Psycho Reigns. You know, he's psycho like a fox. And uh, you'll see here, the and the fans love it. Uh, he is, uh, I think he bewilders the opposition as well as entertains the fans. He used to be uh, a, a, a T-Bird opponent, now skates with the Thunderbirds, was a world champion uh, flat track skater before he went with the Thunderbirds. And this is the kind of thing he loves and everybody loves it. Okay, we better get back here to the action. Back to the action against yes, Rule Ralphie Belladera, so along with Georgie Fernandez and Fernandez with 18 big points already here tonight.
I don't know how the T-Birds are going to be able to do it. They, they dropped back Danny Riley and Ronnie Reigns to do the blocking. They had the veteran Ralphie Valadares coming up to score points, and still the T-Birds did not score any points, but the New York Bombers did. The question is, Jim, can they do it? Can they do it? The Thunderbirds have known to come from behind, but they're getting way down. Seven. at that because here is where a veteran skill and experience pays off the way he uh, just aced that rookie out of his uh, uh, shirt uh, almost on that now watch Ronnie Tycho Rain demonstrating the quality he makes the rookie right smack into the back and Ronnie goes by how about that that was excellent experience pays off Jim Hoppy it's really a pleasure to call these games for the people and really enjoy them and when you see skating like this ability they're fine they're tuned well. And this man coming out of the pack, Ralphie Valadere, squad him on the fly, number eight. He's going to go for all the marbles now. Can he pick up Thunder and points? There's not much time remaining. Now, can the man go? He's only picked up one point. And man, Ralphie Valadere has just got to move. He's got Kenny Saunders, number 42, right alongside, catching up to him in her. And they all go, go, go. Saunders takes Valadere out of the pack. Danny Riley in the back of the pack. Riley back there. He's going to try to stop the likes of Kenny Saunders. Riley, he pops him one time. There comes Quinn. Quinn back at him again with a score of 75 to 60. Down by 13 points. Look at Riley. He's cooking out. He gets Scott out of there. He gets Fernandez. He gets Kenny Saunders. The man. He goes to the wayside. He's getting them all in there. Picking them up one by one. Can he get them all? He stopped Saunders. Saunders the main man. He's the lead jabber. And it comes Ralphie. Ralphie in a late chase. Ralphie coming by. Picking up one, two. He calls them up. And Valadares with four. Thunderbird plays for me. Hook high. 75 to 66. And the Thunderbird copy are looking good with just about 15 seconds remaining here. He's on. this before the game with John. We'll take a look at that as soon as we have a scoreboard here and uh, after that we will go down the network. Look at that crowd there tonight. They really are going out hoping the Thunderbirds will win. Here's the score. T-Bird 66, Bomber 75 and out of Jim. Well, John Hall is here with me, and John, you've got a real, real tough game coming up tonight. And if you can get by this game and win it, you go on to the World Series and the Chicago Hawks. What's going to happen? Jim, you know, I can't foretell the future. I know the future is tomorrow, and right now, the T-Birds and myself are more concerned with the New York Bombers. If we can beat them tonight, then we have to go against a team that has been our nemesis all year long. We haven't been able to beat the Hawks. They made it into the playoffs without having to go through this round robin like we're going through now. We know this, they're a tough opponent. But right now we have a tougher opponent. We have the New York Bombers, and that's most important. I've got to make sure that the T-Birds don't get complacent. They, they don't sit back and think that they, they got it made. They've got a hard job. Well, good luck to you, John Holland. We'll be right back after these words. I'm George Mikan, and you're watching Classic Sports Network. In one year, over 200,000 people got the perfect stomach with 8-Minute Abs. Just listen to these results. I went from the flabby spare tire to a washboard stomach. Thanks, 8-Minute Abs. I used to wear loose clothes to hide my tummy, but look, now I use 8-Minute Abs. 8-Minute Abs is great. I pop it in, I'm done, and it works. 8-Minute Abs takes you through a series of simple movements scientifically designed for fast results. I use 8-Minute Abs, and I recommend it to all of my clients. The secret is using the abdominal muscles in a specific sequence to maximize effectiveness. And it gets the job done in only eight minutes. If you've got eight minutes and a VCR, you'll get great abs too. Call during this special offer and we'll give you a $5 rebate coupon. That's right now for just $9.95 with rebate, you too can have slim, trim, eight minute abs. And your satisfaction is guaranteed. But you must call right now. Satisfaction's guaranteed, so call 1-800-413-4433. That's 1-800-413-4433. Hi, I'm Chuck Benarek, and you're watching Classics Sports Network. All right. <laughs> 
There's one in every crowd. You see I, the Good Ship America VIP video. One of the cameramen, he's enjoying himself here, that's for sure. You've heard of the other guys. Well, this is the other, other guys. How'd they get him up there in that <laughs> pump? <laughs> he's gonna handle the race. How's he gonna get down? That's what I'd like to know. All right, we're back to the action here with a score of 75 to 66. The Thunderbirds are down by, you count them, a whole bunch out there. 19 big points. And that's a long ways to come back from. Can they do it? Will they do it? Donnie Young says, I can do it right now. We'll find out as Laura Gregory, the rookie skater, right after in a hurry. Laura Gregory, a cute gal, number 45, a rookie skater. Here at Bomber Team, doesn't like to be upstage by all the pretty Thunderbird gals. But Donnie Young says, I'll give you a punch or two. She hails from Compton, California, attended Compton High School. Donnie Young, she's currently a bank vice president. A good looking gal, Donnie Young, the Thunderbirds are trailing, and they've got to get it going. They like to bring to the shield, back to the blocker. Blocked her hard one time. She's came up with three of the Thunderbird gals now. are starting to move right now. This is if we can sustain this drive. And these girls have got to do it now because if the girls don't do it, there'll be such a big league when the men take over that uh, the boat will have sailed. All right, who's going to get up this time? Is it going to be the likes of one of the Thunderbird gals, a rookie skater? Oh, they're putting the helmet on Coley Morrell. Coley Morrell along with Stephanie Garcia for the New York Bomber team with a score 75 to 70. This is Holloway column here alongside Jim McInerney and Bill Hopp. It's been a good, good game. It's very, very close now. The Thunderbirds back in the action once again. With number five, the Gale from Melbourne, Australia, living on a point down California, mother of three. That's right, she is a mother of three and on that bank track and showing you how to do it. In great shape, Colleen Morrell. But after, in a hurry, number 43, Stephanie Garcia up the middle of the back. Look at the big gal, the rough tough gal, number 40, and Diane Severson. She was blocked on the inside, outside, and Colleen Morrell trying to get through, trying to pick up Thunderbird points. Can the gal get some in the meantime? Stephanie Garcia worked her way right through that pack. What the Thunderbirds didn't want to do, they didn't want to relinquish any thought of going down to defeat here tonight. And with four or five more big points, the Bombers are going to be very destructive now. To the rail, brought hard by Steve anymore. The five more Bomber points, 80 to 70. New York way out in front, Jim McInerney. Well, Dick, I'll tell you, this Stephanie Garcia, she's already picked up 14 points tonight, and one of the key reasons is because of Diane Severson. Diane Severson, she's the girl that's been doing the blocking. Number Paving the way. She hasn't let up for one moment. Diane Severson is a very, very hot gal tonight. Been around that league for a long, long time with a score 80 to 70 now. Five points picked up on that scoring in there. 80 to 70 to score. They give the helmet to Patsy Delgado. They being the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. You see the helmet? She very petitely put it on her head because she's a petite little gal in there. A pretty gal. A rating beautiful gal from Pico Rivera, number three. But now she's a jammer. She's in another like 
what you see. Now who has the helmet? Look at this. Skinny Minnie Miller going to take the helmet. Now she goes off in the infield. It would have been wise to have had given it to her. All right, with a score 80 to 76. Of
What if you could collect life's greatest moments? If you could just hang on to them and not let any slip away? And what if every time you remembered them, they were just as vivid, just as good? On Classic Sports Network, memories don't pass you by, nor are they carted off and filed away. They're front and center, and even sideways. Classic Sports Network, the only network where once-in-a-lifetime moments happen 24 hours a day.
I certainly hope this is going to be uh, the... Jim, what did that sign say out there? It said, bomb the bombers, t well, Are they going to do it? Let's see if they can do it. We'll be right back after this word. Classic Sports Network, where the legends play. Hey kids, put on your hard hats and get ready for real life giant construction equipment for kids. The fun filled video with 25 monster machines for only $4.95. Join Hard Hat Harry on a magical adventure to actual construction sites. 60 thrill pack minutes of bruising bulldozers, colossal cranes, dirty dump trucks, and more. 25 big machines to watch over and over again. Asphalt eaters, pavers, rock crushers, all the heavy equipment kids love driving right into your living room. Real life giant construction equipment for kids is a rare chance to see huge excavators in action. Stone mountains blown up by dynamite. Kids even climb into the driver's seat of the big machines they love. Real life giant construction equipment for kids, originally sold for $19.95, is now only $4.95. And when you call, we'll also tell you about our free bonus video offer. So call now to order. Classic Sports Network is brought to you in part by fees paid by your local cable company.
Danny Riley, the defense man, the man whom I said they everything depends upon, turns out and puts on the helmet and wins the game for the Thunderbirds. Oh, he's hip to say, I'm sorry what I did in the first half on defense. The Bombers leaving the track, they're depressed out there. The Thunderbirds are so happy and the man's got to be tired. Danny Riley, and look at the great crowd. They're loving every minute of it. Okay, we'll be right back with a recap of the World Series. I love watching classic sports. Yeah, the fights are awesome. That's what we're talking about. The old Ali and Frazier. The home run derby is my favorite. The tennis and... The old-time football games. I'll tell you right now, I'm hooked on it. Just turn on the classics, it's awesome. Everybody's talking about it. It's just something you cannot miss at all. I'm hooked on Classic Sports Network. Watch it every night. I love classic sports. You never forget a true classic. Like Reggie, introducing the Knicks to Miller time. Reggie Miller, scoring eight points in the final 32 seconds. Or the Mike, no one else could be like. Or the game Irvin proved his nickname. In the NBA, the classics have dates, but are never outdated. Classic sports, nothing but net. What more can you say at a game like this? The Thunderbirds came through in flying colors, 105 to 99. Jim, excellent, excellent, great come from behind game. Excellent game, and it's interesting to note that the high scoring individuals came from the Bombers. Georgie Fernandez with 22 points, and Darlang Langlois de la Chapelle with 22 points. But the T Birds, their high scoring was, came from Frankie Macedo and Ralphie Valadares with 15 points each. Skinny Minnie Miller picked up 16 points. But all of the rest of the T-Birds came through and picked up points all throughout the game. Well, as you know, the paramedics were working all night long. <laughs> and to our resident geriatric, Bill Hopp. Well, I think I'm going to really need a, uh, my Geritol cocktail when this is all <laughs> over. After this excitement tonight, I couldn't take another one like this. I hope next week it's not like this. But you know, there's a lot of significance tonight in those statistics on the Thunderbirds. The fact that... Macedo and Valadares and Miller, the three of them, uh, Skinny Miller, represent pretty close to 65, 70 years of skating experience on the bank track. Now, there's been a lot of criticism of Thunderbirds in recent years that they haven't got on and hired all these bright new flashes in the past, but they've kept and gone with their veterans, just enough new skaters to keep the team balanced and to build for the future. And it has really paid off, and it shows the number of world championships they've won that you can't beat experience and Tonight, you know, they never were in the game until uh, just a few seconds of the end. They were behind the entire game. They came back, and that demonstrates the fans that were behind them and this great wealth of experience on this wonderful Hebrew team. I am just, I can't say any more about it. I'm just, just completely beside myself. Well, it's on to the World Series, and he went from GOAT to the hero of the game. The three of us voted unanimously Danny Riley, the redhead, the carrot top. He was fantastic. Most valuable player of this great game you saw here tonight. Now remember, we're going to be back with the Chicago Hawks in the World Series next week with the first game of the World Series. And you folks won't want to miss that one. Remember, the Los Angeles Thunderbirds and the Chicago Hawks. And it's bye-bye until then.